Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make clarified butter or how to clarify butter. A longtime subscriber of mine suggested I make a video on this. So here we go, that's what we're gonna do. It's really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. First of all, what is clarified butter? Clarified butter is butter where the butter fat or milk fat has been separated from the milk solid and the water. And you're just left with this wonderful, almost like an oil that has a higher heat point or higher smoke point than normal butter, but still has that same awesome buttery taste. So my, why might you wanna use it? Well, you can use it for sauteing, you can use it for um, frying, you can use it in a variety of dishes. And so anywhere where you may not want your butter to burn, you would use clarified butter. So there's a lot of uses for it. And you can store it in the refrigerator for a really long time. So it's pretty awesome. It's very simple to make. Let's get started. So to begin, I have a sauce pot here and I have some butter. The amount of butter really doesn't matter. The, the same technique is gonna work with whatever however much butter you use. I have about a pound of butter here. So four sticks here in the States. And then I'm gonna take this over to the stove top. You can also do this in the oven. Just put the butter in an oven safe dish and put your oven on low heat around warm temperature. So I'm gonna set my stove top to low heat and we'll just let this butter reduce and allow the butter fat to separate from the milk solids or the butter solids. And we're not gonna stir it at all. We're just gonna let it be and do its thing. It will take some time, just be patient. Depends on how warm your butter is. If you take it right out of the refrigerator and it's cold, it'll take longer than if it was already room temperature. Also another trick, if you want it to melt down faster is to cut up the butter into small little chunks and they will melt down faster. All right, once it's completely melted, you may or may not have quite a bit of foam here on the top. And we want to, whatever is on there, we would just want to skim that off. And use like a little spoon. But that's pretty good as is. And now we want to separate the clarified butter from what's on the bottom. You can see all the milk solids that are on the bottom. We're gonna take this off the heat and let it sit for about five minutes and then we will go on to the next step. Now to separate the clarified butter from the milk solids on the bottom, you could use like a ladle and we can come in here and ladle that and then drop it over a sieve that I've lined with cheesecloth and I'll catch anything extra that I didn't skim off the top or just come in here and pour it very gently so we don't get any of that milk solids in there. You'll see the solids coming to the top, coming to the front. We don't want to get any of that It's okay if you get a little bit because the cheesecloth will catch it. Just squeeze that out and there you go. We have some wonderful clarified butter. Looks fantastic. And now you have a, a bit of milk solids left here. Some people throw it out, but I recommend you can put that in like mashed potatoes you can put it on, spread it on some toast. If you don't want to waste it, you can use it, all right? I normally will use it on other things and I, I don't throw it out because I don't like wasting food. And now I'm just gonna pour this awesome clarified butter in my mason jar here for easy storage. And here is our clarified butter, and you can use it the same way that you would use oil, fry with it, saute with it, 
use it in sauces. You could use it as a dip, as is. Dip some shrimp in there, dip some other seafood in there, whatever you want to do. All right, the clarified butter is done. Turned out fantastic. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. To store it, put it in an airtight container with a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and it will last several months in there. Pretty awesome. And then when you wanna use it, just scoop some out with a spoon and put it in your pan and then it'll melt down and turn into the liquid again. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care.